everybody so I've had a lot of requests to show you guys how I do my top bun um, if it's a little different and I know there's a ton of videos lately especially on how people are doing their top buns I do mine a little different than most of the ones that I see I see a lot of people using like a sock bun type of thing and I've tried that it just doesn't work that well for me um, I definitely like this because for me in the top bun it's like basically I will use this like if I'm running out the door if I'm already out and my hair's looking bad that's when I'll use this so I don't always just have like a sock bun chilling in my purse or something. I guess I could always make one if I had socks on, but I don't always do that. So this has been my go-to way to do my top bun forever now. Ever since you've seen me first rock it, this is the way I've been doing it. So it's really, really simple. I swear it seems a little complicated at first, but the more and more you practice and try, it's like I do it on my first try and I'm pretty much done. It takes a little fluffing, but that's it. Um, if you have shorter hair, maybe you need some bobby pins, but I have like kind of medium length hair and it has layers in it and I never have these any problems with it flying away. This hairstyle will last in my hair all day. I never really have to touch it up unless I'm putting on clothes and like it messes up. But it's basically my go-to when I'm like in a hurry, like it's going to be, you know, I have to leave soon and this is the st style that I go for because I think it's just really classy and put together and I think it looks really, really nice. And I don't like slick back my hair or anything like that, but you could if you have a lot of baby hairs. I do. I'll have like some hair on my neck fall out. But it doesn't really matter to me. But if you do, you can just take a small comb and some hairspray and just spray it and slick it back. But this is my top knot. I know it's not completely perfect, but I like that kind of carefree type of style. And just stay tuned if you want to see how I get my top knot. All right, so to do this tutorial, it's super simple. All you're going to need is a ponytail holder. And that's it. Um, hairspray is optional. All that kind of stuff is optional, but you don't really need it. So I am going to make sure that my ponytail is on my dominant hand. So for me, it's my right hand. So you just want to make sure your ponytail holder is on that hand. And then I'm just going to take and gather all of my hair into a high ponytail. Um, depending on how high you want your bun to sit, this is where you're going to decide that. Um, I'm not really too crazy about how like smooth back my hair is or anything like that. Um, I like it pretty... I don't know, natural, not like too slicked back or anything like that. So I just kind of gather my hair up into a high ponytail like this. So I'm going to be working with this hand as like the center holding. So I'm going to be using my pointer finger and my thumb to kind of clasp around like what a ponytail would be, holder would be. So as you can see, I just have made like kind of a ponytail holder with my pointer finger and my thumb around the base of the ponytail. And then I'm just going to take the majority of the hair, the rest of the hair right here, and I'm going to start wrapping it around the center pointer finger and around the rest of the hair using these fingers to just kind of like guide it and everything like that. That's going to make the shape of the bun. So once you're around this side, now depending on how long your hair is, it's going to differ. Um, like if your hair is not long enough to do this, it's going to be kind of difficult and I would recommend like a bun sock. But for me, my hair is just like the a good length and if your hair was longer this would still work so once you've got your back around the other side you see my little pointer fingers right out here I'm just gonna go ahead and take and grab that little tail of hair and pull it up through the center of the bun so you're just kind of pulling up like as like a needle would pull thread and you just want to see this like you can see the little loop of hairs right there now don't let it go but just take your ponytail and start wrapping it around the base of the bun. Now this is gonna ensure that the whole bun is secure, and I just wrap it around twice. So I know it can seem kind of complicated when you first, you know, are, like I'm explaining it to you, but I swear the more that you do it, the easier it gets. I'm gonna go ahead and show you one more time just so you kind of get the um, explanation. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull my hair down, make sure my ponytail is on my right hand, gather all of my hair up, I'm going to put my two fingers right around the base of the ponytail, move the hair around in a complete circle, pull the, pull the rest of the tail hair in with my pointer finger, pull the loop up. Before you pull the tail all the way through, just wrap the ponytail around the base of the bun and fluff. So this will take like a little bit of fluffing. You could always add bobby pins like if you need to, but... I never fuss with that. And this bun will last in my hair all day. I mean, I don't, it doesn't fall out or like 
anything like that, but I swear the more that you practice it, the easier it will get, and it's just like my go-to hairstyle. So just kind of looks like this, not perfect like a sock bun would be, but pretty darn perfect, I would say. So I hope you girls enjoyed this really quick hair tutorial, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, girls.